You are now watching Smokes and Joes. Uh, smoke a little weed. <laughs> we weed smokers out here. I'd imagine Smokes and Joes. Sativa, make some noise. Indica, make some noise. Yeah, y'all sound tired. You see them Indica motherfuckers? <laughs> yeah. But I, I feel like weed is like alcohol, though. You know, because some, some people can't some people can't drink, and I feel like some people can't smoke, man. We ever smoke with somebody, y'all smoking the same shit, and they look like the above the influence commercials. Like, nigga, what, what's wrong with you, bro? <laughs> I was smoking with my friend the other day. He was smoking, man. He's sunk into the couch, and I'm just looking at him like, man, are you okay? Are you okay, bro? He's like, yeah, turn that ceiling fan off. What ceiling fan, bro? What are you talking about, man? I don't know. It's not for everybody. I, just, I get lost in my thoughts, actually, you know, because I smoke weed. Because I grew up a, I grew up a Catholic. My mom's an old Trinidadian woman raised me Catholic. I had to read the Bible a lot. And now that I'm older and I'm like smoking weed, just thinking about to the stories that I've read, there ain't no way that Jesus died no 33-year-old virgin, man. There's no way that man died a virgin. What? You kidding me? Because now, nah, think about it. When you see pictures of Jesus, how he look? Washboard abs, cut diesel, Chris Hemsworth face. And in the Bible, Jesus is 20s. There's a gap in the Bible, man. Why we can't talk about what you did in your 20s, Jesus? What were you doing? You gonna tell me this man had his, his abs, Chris Hemsworth face, and fucking magic, bro? And his homie, his ride or die, his best friend, was Mary Magdalene, man. That's a lady of the night, man. She was working these streets. It was always coming around. Hey, Mary, <laughs> Jesus around. <laughs> I need him to come lay some wood. <laughs> Cause Jesus was a carpenter. If you read the Bible, you will know that you healed. <sighs> dating, that's what shit is, man. I broke up with my girl though. That's why I'm, I'm dating, man. We broke up over porn. That's really what it was. I wasn't the one watching porn, she was, all right? She was the one with the porn issue. What happened was, I had walked in on her, she was doing her little thing, double clicking the mouse, and I was like, oh shit, nah! Nah, girl, you good, you finished, I'll come back later. So I came back, I'm like, what the fuck you looking at, girl? What your categories is, now nah, I mean? What's your history? I'm about to see your history after, man. It better look like me, but your fat black dudes fucking in your search history. That's what I needed to see in her porn history. That was not in her porn history, dog. She is not watching fat black dudes fucking. And it hurt me. I could have deal with that as a person. It hurt me in the cold, man. I went through her history. First thing I seen, gang bangs, dog. Gang bangs. Not no threesomes. It was mad and unnecessary niggas in the room. One dude not even involved. He's just in the corner. All types of shit. I'm like, girl, why do you need this? This is what you like? Next one, I couldn't even, I couldn't even balance it out, man. It was brother, sister, incest, girl. My brother, sister, incest, girl. The thing is, I watch a couple brother, sister, incest porn, but I'm an only child, okay? That's never anything I ever got to live through. That category was made for me. You sibling motherfuckers, you gross, man. That is totally gross, man. Her brother always coming around, baking his fucking cookies in the house. Get the fuck out of here, Tom. 